6 o'clock, a tow truck driver accused of illegally towing cars and trucks and stealing firearms in Charlotte now arrested again. You might remember the name David Satterfield. Our WBTV investigation started in 2019 when Satterfield was convicted with violating the city of Charlotte's towing ordinance. Well, since then, Satterfield has been cited for several towing violations and he's facing charges of being an habitual felon with a trial scheduled for December. His latest arrest came Sunday. Arrest warrants show he's accused of stealing firearms from a towed car. Our Caroline Hicks spoke with a victim who had his guns stolen back in 2021. She also spoke with Satterfield himself, new at six. We caught up with David Satterfield here outside of CMPD headquarters this morning. He claims it's his subcontractors who are stealing guns out of the cars they are towing. I asked him whether he's concerned that he could face prison time now that he's being charged as a habitual felon. He says yes, because he claims he's not doing anything wrong. I got an alert on my phone that my car had been broken into. Jared Burnett says he was enjoying a concert at PNC Pavilion back in October 2021 when he learned his car had been towed from the nearby movie theater parking lot. Immediately, he was like, uh, yeah, I only accept cash. He says once David Satterfield gave him his car back, he noticed his two guns were missing from the center console. As soon as I said something, he just started cussing me out and told me to get off the property. So I called CMPD and within 15 minutes they were out there and they were telling me that they've had numerous problems with him. According to court records, Satterfield was arrested that day and charged with possession of a stolen firearm by a felon, and it wouldn't be the last time. His most recent arrest, July 16th. According to the police report, officers were called to a towing disturbance where he and another man both claimed to be assaulted and the tow truck damaged. He already had warrants out for his arrest. Police records allege he had stolen a woman's handgun from inside of her car in May of 2022. He's facing charges including breaking and entering a vehicle and larceny of a firearm, but bonded out of jail three days after his arrest. You're going to let him out. Burnett says enough is enough, and he'd like to see towers like Satterfield learn a lesson. He's going to do it again, as we've seen already. According to court records, Satterfield is due back in court later this month on those most recent charges. He's also scheduled to go to trial in December for the charges from 2021. I'm Caroline Hicks reporting outside CMPD headquarters. WBTV on your side. Caroline, thank you. Now, our investigative reporter David Hodges has detailed these towing troubles since the start, and you can find his full reporting on our website right now.